Okay, everybody, here we go. Welcome. Make sure you have your paper and pencil out ready for notes. Uh, today's lesson is called Compound Inequalities Disjunctions. Compound Inequalities Focusing on Disjunctions. Okay. So disjunctions means separate or apart or, uh, you know, so the first uh, key note that we're going to see here is the word or is very prevalent with disjunctions, right? So when you think of or, you think of separate, you think of apart, right? So you think of separate. Let me change the here. You think of separate. Right? Or apart. Right? Or do you want to go left or right? Do you want to go up or down? Do you want Burger King or McDonald's? Do you like the Dodgers or the Angels? Right? You can't, it's not together, it's not and, it's or, apart, separate. Okay? So I want you guys to keep that in mind when we do the these examples. So again, the first thing that we're going to notice is we're going to read the instructions, right? So let's read the instructions. So the instructions say, solve each compound inequality and, and graph its solution. So we have to not only solve, but we have to graph, right? So let's get to it. Okay. So let's try this first example here. So if we notice, we notice the word or here, right? So just keep that in mind. But we have two inequalities. We have one there. And we have one there, right? Because when you think of or, you think of two things. You know, are you going to sleep at 9 or are you going to sleep at 10? You can't do both at the same time, right? It's or, so it's two things when you're comparing two things. So, first thing I'm going to do, first thing I always do is I copy down my question. Negative 8 plus V is less than negative 17 right or or right the second one v plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2 right so we have or and we have when you think of or you think of more than one thing right two things you're comparing so let's work on this first uh, inequality here right so what is the first thing that I do? I draw my line of separation, right? So draw my line of separation just like that. So my goal, guys, is to get V by itself. So I'm going to move this negative 8 over this way. And it's going to become a what? Positive 8. Exactly. So let's cross out that sucker here and make him a positive 8 over here just like that. So my V can come down, right? Now, I did not divide or multiply by a negative. I'm adding 8 here. So that means that this arrow is going to stay the exact same thing. It's this clone, right? It's this twin. That arrow is twins with that arrow. Same exact thing. So I'm just going to copy it over just like that. Less than. So a negative 17 and a positive 8 are not the same signs for sure. right? So I'm going to subtract. 17 minus 8 is 9, and it's going to be a positive or negative, everyone? What do you think? Exactly, negative, because 17 is bigger and 17 is a negative. So, here's our first solution. Right? But remember, we have the word or here. So that means i got to do my second inequality, right? Which is right there. 
So let's do this second bad boy right here. So again, draw my line of separation. I'm going to take positive 2, and I, when I cross it out, it's going to come over and become negative 2, right? So cross out positive 2, and it's going to become minus 2. So again, I bring down my V, okay? Now, if you notice, again, I did not divide or multiply. I subtracted 2. So since I did not divide or multiply by a negative, excuse me, not just divide or multiply, but divide or multiply by a negative, I subtracted. That means that, again, this inequality is going to be copied down here exactly the same. So greater than, let me do better than that. I can do better than that. Come on. Greater than or equal to. And 2 minus 2 is, let me think about it. Let me get my calculator. No, I'm just kidding, right? 2 minus 2 is 0. And that right there is my second inequality. Let me do better than that. Oops, let me do better than that. Let me get rid of this guy. How do I get, okay. So let me do better than that by, there you go, just like that. Look at that. Okay, so here we have our two solutions there. Right? So let's work on the one first on the left first, the one on the left first, excuse me. So this is going to be a closed circle. And how do I know it's going to be a closed circle, guys? Because it doesn't have an equal sign under, right? It only has a, well, let's think about it. Do we use our left hand? So right now, put up two scissors, you know, rock, paper, scissors. Put up scissors with your both hand, with both your hands, excuse me. Which hand do you use to make these scissors right here? Exactly. You use your left hand. And left hand means less than. It means you're going to graph to the left. So we're going to go open circle on negative 9. And we're going to graph to the left. So open circle on negative 9, which is, let's see, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9 right there. Open circle on negative 9. And we said we're going to graph to the left. So just like that. Look at that. OK. Perfect. Did the first one. Now we need the or. Now let's do this one here. So this one is going to be an obviously what kind of circle? Closed circle, right? Because we have our equal sign. Now again, throw up your peace signs, throw up your scissors. Which hand makes this arrow right here? Exactly, our right hand. Our right hand means greater than, and we're going to graph to the right. On zero, we're going to, with a closed circle, we're going to graph to the right. So on zero, closed circle, we're going to graph to the right, just like that. And there you go. Now, if you notice, look at the graphs. They're going away from each other, right? They're going apart, because that's what or means, apart. Goes back to our notes here, right? Separate, apart, right? And this is exactly what's happening in this graph. Look. Two separate, one graph, two graph, and they're going away from each other. They're going apart. One's going left, one's going right. One's going to in and out, one's going to the habit. One's having Italian food, the other one's having Mexican food, right? Or, right. And what this means, guys, if I can choose any number from here and plug them into V here and plug it into V here, and it's going to make these inequalities true. Or I can pick any number here, and it's going to make these inequalities true as well. That's the beauty of or, right? All right. Let's do our second example. Perfect, perfect. Make sure you rewind for clarification or you pause, right, in case you need to copy. So, first thing I notice is my or, 
right? That means that the graphs are going to be apart. So if somehow if you end up with the graphs together, then something went wrong. Go back and check your work, right? But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my a minus 6 is less than negative 12, right? Or, or, right? Let's not forget our or. Um, a divided by 6 is greater than 0, like that. Look at that. I have my or. So let's focus on our first equation right here. So I'm going to draw my line of separation just like this, right? And I want to move this negative 6 over. And when it comes over, it becomes a plus 6, right? So let's cross it out and make it a plus 6 here. So I'm going to bring down my a. Now, since I'm not dividing or multiplying by a negative, that means that this arrow, I'm just going to copy it, copy it over and be the same. Just like that. So, boom, just like that. right? And a negative 12 and a positive 6 are definitely not the same signs. So I'm going to subtract 12 minus 6 is 6. And it's a negative 6 because 12 is bigger and 12 is a negative. So this is our first solution right here. Look at that. Right? Or, right? Or, so, or means two things, right? We have to do two things. So let's do our second inequality right here. So, again, I'm going to draw my line of separation, right? This line here means to, what is it, guys? Divide, exactly. So if I'm dividing here, when I cross out 6 and it comes over, the opposite of dividing is multiplying by 6. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cross out 6, and I'm going to multiply by 6, just like that. So I'm going to bring down my a, right? And again, I am multiplying. Look. But I'm not multiplying by a negative. So that means that this arrow is going to be copied down, just like that. If this 6 would have been a negative right here, then I would have done the arrow this way. It would have flipped. But since it's not a negative, it's going to stay the same, just like that. And this is as easy as easy can be, right? 0 times 6 is brrr, 0, of course. 0, just like that. And that is my second solution. So now, let's graph these bad boys. Let's start with the left here. A, again, throw up your peace signs, guys. Right? Two scissors. Which hand makes this arrow right here? Left hand, right? So that means we're going to graph left. And it's going to be an open circle because, look, there's no equal sign here. So we're going to graph left, open circle on negative 6. So let's go up here. Okay. We're going on negative 6, open circle, and we're going to graph left. Right? So graph, 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 graph. There you go. Okay. Graph my first one. Let's graph our second one here. So this is A is what? Greater than or less than? One hand do I use to make this sign right here with their scissors? Your right hand, right? Right hand means you graph to the right, and that means greater than. So we're going to graph to the right, and it's going to be an open circle because there's no equal sign here. So we're going to graph to the right, open circle on zero. So open circle on zero, graph to the right. And there you go. Look at that. That is our solution for our, our second example. right? Or, one's going to the left. One is going to the right. Or means separate. right? There you go. So make sure, again, to rewind if you have to. Or pause if you have to. 
to make sure that you have all your notes. And these kiddos are the notes for compound inequalities disjunctions.